Hey there everybody, this is Corey with Android Community. Today I have the Samsung Galaxy Nexus, the Verizon 4G LTE Galaxy Nexus. It does have that extended battery on there, you can't really tell, it's just that thin. But, today what I want to do is just kind of go over a few things um, specific to Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich that I kind of wanted to show some of our viewers. Um, mainly with, with things not being extremely uniform, I know we've seen plenty of, of hands-on and videos of Android 4.0, so none of this is extremely new. Traffic Panic just downloaded that awesome game. But, so what I'm going to do here is show you a couple different things regarding the, the menu button, which is now not present on Android 4.0. Obviously there's plenty of mods that will add that back and, and whatnot, but just for a small example, if we go into the dialer and go to, say, the actual dialer, there's the three menu buttons for, you know, menu. But, we go into the previous calls, come down here, and it's down there. Then, a couple different things here, go into settings, and uh, go to battery. There's some of my battery life, got about 30% left after seven hours. I know there's a lot of debate on that. But uh, here's the refresh button up top. But, if you use a widget or anything like that to go into the battery, um, same thing, same screen, same battery life, you know, says battery up top, exactly like before, but no button. Instead, the, it's down here. Refresh button is down at the bottom and in the middle. Just kind of something that I noticed that was a, a little bizarre. Again, if I go back into battery, it's the same menu I'm in, battery, and that is it. But then back to that, uh, you know, the button for the menu. If I go into Google+, Plus. We have menu button. All the menu buttons for you know Google specific apps for the most part are up there. So then if we go to another Google app, like uh, I don't want to go into my Gmail, but the market, there it is up top. But you go into maybe Google Maps, let that load, and it's down below. And here's the uh, menu button down there instead. Then let's see. I know there was a couple different ones I saw here. Obviously, it's kind of in different spots. Then, if you load a, a traditional app that's not made for, you know, or by Google themselves, there it is down below. So it's not up top. It's not on the screen. It's where the capacitive buttons used to be, and it is right there, menu. So, just kind of a little bit of a, I guess you say it's not very uniform, a uni uniformity issue. Um, it's nothing major here. Obviously, when you go into something like, you know. Some Twitter, there it is down below. But then, you know, you go back to Google, Google Music, a couple of those things, let that load. And now this is a Google app, but it's actually down here, it's not up top. Like most of the other Google apps, including the market and Google Plus and all that other stuff. So go into YouTube, and there it is up top. So, I mean, it's three buttons for the menu, it's not a big deal, but stuff like that with the, the different areas for the refresh button and the menu button are all kind of scattered in different locations. Um, it, a lot of that has to do with apps and the, you know, the, the build and the design from the developers. So, not a huge issue, but just something I've kind of noticed um, throughout the past few days using Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich on my Nexus, my Galaxy Nexus. Little beautiful phone here. But, uh, so I mean, it's not a big deal, nothing uh, extremely um, worth noting. Going to Bank of America here, there it is down below, I wiped all my data. But, looking at some of these different things, I have the new Dropbox, actually really nice. There it is up top, um, they've done that themselves, included in the app, so it's in line with Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. But most other apps that are available between games and and just all kinds of different, you know, apps available, they'll actually be down below by default. That default's here, little menu button. But it's just one of those things, I don't know, I don't, it's not that I don't like it, but uh, just kind of makes you wonder why things couldn't be a little more uniform. I know this is kind of a transitional period with Android 4.0 and phones and tablets, but there it is. That was just a quick look. I'm kind of showing you guys a couple things that matter to me in the world of Android Ice Cream Sandwich. So, uh, yeah, that was it. A little bit of ice cream love. This is Corey of Android Community. 
that was it guys thanks for watching